hello what's up you to photographer Ronix what I try in this tutorial I want to show you I can easily clean dirty shoes in Photoshop so most times we tend to encounter the issue of having dirty shoes when it comes to Photoshop and this is going to be working for images or working on images that are going to be having a constant color so you're just going to be cleaning the shoes from looking like this to looking like this in just Photoshop you can say before and after so I'll simply come and delete this. So most of you that are familiar with frequency separation, you should understand that it divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. For instance, if at all we wanted to do this the easy way and we simply created a new empty layer and we simply got the brush tool and used a very low opacity and we tried sampling and painting on the sole area, you can notice that it simply it gets the job done but it as well takes away the textures in some areas so we just want to retain the textures and we want it to be as natural as possible so that is where our frequency separation is going to come about in this tutorial so as usual frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer so you want to paint a clean color of the soul and paint it between the textures and the color layer of this very shoe so what we're going to do we're just going to divide the image into the high frequency layer and also the low frequency layer just simply going to come and press ctrl j twice to create those two layers and as usual name this to low frequency and you're going to name this to high high frequency so after doing this we hide the high frequency layer and simply come to the low frequency layer we're going to come to our filter then come down to Gaussian blur and come to so filter you come to blur and simply select Gaussian blur right here so you have to blur out the information from the shoe area so you have to take the radius slider until when the textures are just starting to disappear from the shoe itself so by taking up the radius slider you can see at around 5 or 6 that is when we have to stop so you have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the show sole so just come and simply click ok then come to the high frequency and now activate it so in the high frequency layer, I won't remain with the texture so, so after selecting the high frequency layer we are simply going to come to image and come to apply image so this doesn't matter if I told you are working on an 8-bit image or 16-bit image so you're just going to be using any details regarding the frequency separation apply image step so this doesn't matter if I told you working on a 16-bit or 8-bit image so what we are aiming at we just want to divide the frequencies of the image so we are just going to come to layer and select the low frequency layer and simply change the blend mode from multiply and just going to change it to subtract the scale is to offset 128 opacity 100 percent preserve transparency and mask around check and make sure invert is not turned on and you're just going to come and click ok and you can see the textures are on this gray kind of layer so just come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light to reveal back the image that it was meant to be so let's put this two in a group by selecting both and pressing ctrl or command then you can press command or ctrl g on the keyboard group this and you can rename the group to clean show so if at all you want to be organized with your workflow so after doing that simply open up the frequency separation group or the clean show group in this case and select the low frequency layer and simply come and create a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon so it is on this layer that we're going to be cleaning this shoe or every area that has that regarding this shoe so we are just going to come to these adjustments and simply first of all come and get the brush tool so right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero zero percent and soft round brush has been selected so we are going to be using an opacity of around 68 or 70 so 70 is okay and the flow of 100 percent because we don't want to spend so much time trying to clean up different areas of this shoe so how this basically works we are just going to be sampling from a clean area 
and we paint on the sole area so how to sample we are going to zoom in by pressing ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard and simply hold down the alternate key if at all using windows then if at all using mac you can hold down the option key on the keyboard so hold it down and simply left click on an area you feel is having a color that is predominant of the sole area so left click so you can see as soon as you hold on the option key and you left click you can notice that the color is going to be the same highlighted in this box or swatch right here so after doing that so how to paint better you have to simply come you have to paint at once so you have to make a stroke on the whole shoe as a whole so we don't want to make a stroke right here then we come again and we make a stroke right here once again so what that is going to be doing in this case is going to be doubling the effect and it's going to be inconsistent so the right way of painting we have to use one stroke of a brush on the whole that area so how to do this simply increase on the size of the brush and you simply paint so you you left click and hold down if at all you are using a, a tablet you can simply press or use the pen and paint without removing the tip of the pen from the tablet itself then if at all using a touchpad or a mouse you left click and hold down and you paint until when every area that has the dirt under the shoe sole has been cleaned up or cleaned so you don't release up to a point when or until when every area has been cleaned up so just paint on those areas and you can see this is going to remove the dirty area or the dirt from those areas of the shoe sole so paint so don't mind if i told you paint extras because we are working on an empty layer and we can simply correct that later on so we are now done painting on the shoe sole and we have ensured that every area regarding the shoe sole has been covered so if at all you have any other dirt in other areas you can simply create a new layer and you hold down and sample from the new area and simply paint just like that and that is going to make those areas even cleaner so just do that so sample from the top area and simply paint so the advantage of using frequency separation you are going to be retaining the original skin or the original textures in the shoe so you can see that we have simply retained the original skin texture or the textures in the shoe i don't know why i always keep on saying skin texture because frequency separation is basically known for or it is commonly known for skin retouching so after doing that remember we painted extras so simply come and get the eraser tool right here so make sure the mode is set to brush opacity in the flat 100 percent smoothing at zero percent and in this way you have to zoom in and reduce on the size of your eraser tool and simply rub away or rub the extras that you had painted in specific areas so for the sole we worked on this other layer so select this layer and simply come and get a small eraser and you can come and erase the extras from those areas just like that and you can see it gets the job done and it even makes the shoe sole look cleaner and better than it was before so let me just do this quick because i don't want this to be a long tutorial so let me just paint away or clean out the extras from these areas just like that so just come and clean up or paint out the extras so if at all we zoom out you can see the effect so this is for the shoe sole if at all you want to intensify the effect you can simply duplicate the cleaning effect on the shoe sole and you play around with the opacity of that area so this is how you can clean that shoes in studio photos or any area like fabrics or anything using frequency separation so this is the before after before after so this is it for this video 
And if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you yet. More tutorials on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.